All right. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to the channel. And in this occasion, I want to talk to you about properly upscaling your renders out of Unreal. So in Unreal Engine 5, you have this new thing. Well, this was here before, but there is a new way of working with your screen percentage. I talked a little bit about this, you know, um, months ago. So I'm going to show my FPS. So right now I'm running 60 some, right? But if I come here and I grab this screen percentage and I lower it by half, then it's going to look a little bit crappy. But if I move around, you see that Unreal is upscaling that um, half resolution final frame into, you know, more pixels by upscaling it. And now because I'm rendering less pixels and Unreal is very pixel bounded, you know, memory, resolution, everything got to do with your final amount of pixels. As you see, I have more FPS to work with. So we can use this in our advantage if you want to render out things like 4K, 8K, and that is because you may run out of memory if you try to render out native 8K renders, or even, you know, depending on the complexity of your scene, 4K renders out. So let's see how we can use exactly this, but not in the viewport. So, you know, this is only a viewport thing. So I'm going to return this to 100%, even though this is not going to do anything for my render. And let's see how I can set up this thing on my movie render queue. So let's go about it. Let me open up, you know, this movie render queue and let's go to the unsafe config. And the first thing I need to do is to generate, you know, my output size. So right now I'm rendering like um, 2K, but I'm going to set this out to 4096, 2048, right? So now I have a 4K frame that I want to render out. What I need to do now is to allow Unreal to do upscaling. And that can achieve by using a command. And the command is screen percentage, is this one right here. It's R dot screen percentage. So I'm going to copy this command and I'm going to create a console variable setting. And I'm going to create a new console variable and I'm going to drop down this command here and I'm going to lower my resolution by 50%. That means that I'm not rendering out native 4K, but I'm really rendering out 1920 and then upscaling it to 4096, all right? So this will allow me to use less memory to render faster and to have a little too noticeable final output compared to the native you know, 4K. So let me show you how we can achieve that right now. This should be working. I could hit accept and I could, you know, render local and we should start seeing, you know, my render going out and that's it. See how it looks. So now I can open it up and yeah, you get a little bit of, you know, um, aliasing and issues with noise. That's unreal trying to make the best out of the lesser number of pixels to work out, you know, to a higher resolution, but we can make this even better. Remember, we are still using just temporal super resolution. Okay. So now we're going to make it better with temporal and spatial super sampling. So we're going to achieve that by creating an anti-aliasing settings. And here we're going to be able to create samples that are going to make that noise to go away. But as you see, if I start placing numbers here, maybe eight and eight, well, Unreal is going to tell me, well, eight by eight is 64 samples. And that is much more than what the temporal anti-aliasing samples can work right now. That is currently eight. And also it says that it is an even number. So it will love to have uneven numbers, right? How can we change this? Well, we have this R the temporal anti aliasing samples command and we can run it and we can switch it to 64. This is the highest as it will go. And that will provide us that if I you know, close this and open it up again, if I go to my anti-aliasing, now you see that I can, without overriding my anti-aliasing, I can set it up to 88 and I'm only getting, you know, the fact that it's an even number. So I could go a little bit lower. I could go maybe uh, five to 12, right? Samples, right? So I'm, I'm under, you know, the 64 that I set for my anti-aliasing. And I could also add that anti-aliasing command here. So I could go yeah, this one right here. This is all I need. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to set it to 64. 
just if I restart Unreal, the render will know that it will have this amount of available samples, right, to be used. So this is good. Now, um, downscaling 50%, so allowing Unreal to do the upscale from 1080p to 4K. And I'm telling it to use 64 samples of its own real-time temporal anti-aliasing. And the super resolution is going to do the upscaling correctly. So now, all I need to do is to fix, you know, that fi first frame. I have more camera cut at each side, so I can set up the camera cut for warm-up. And I could also render 32 frames of warm up, and that's it. Let's see how this goes. So now I'm going to render local, and we are warming up, and all right, we are rendering 60 frames, so that is good. Now we're going to have plenty of advantages of doing you know, what we did. One is that we are rendering at a lower resolution. We are upscaling to double that resolution. And then we are using a lot of temporal multi-sampling that will allow me to have all those beautiful effects of motion blur, all right? And if we were using, you know, depth of field with those five spatial multi-sampling, we are going to have like a very, very good depth of field out of it. So I'm going to stop it and let's check how it looked. And I bet that now it's going to look, you know, awesome. That is, let me check that render. And now you can check on one on one. And as you can see, it's very, very smooth. You have no issues, right? And now you can see there is no noise. Everything looks amazing. And this is a 1080p temporal super resolution and use your temporal super sampling and a spatial super sampling, everything together to get, you know, a 1080p to properly scale to 4K render. So I hope you learned something new today and you know the drill. Be good. Love you all. And I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.